There is somebody we want to spotlight from last night's game, and that is Jed Lowry. Oh, surprise, surprise, two doubles. <laughs> that sounds like a regular evening for number eight. He also drove in both of Oakland's runs, and it's just so special. I mean, his third tour of duty in Oakland. I honestly thought when he was brought back for this season, hey, great insurance, a great piece to have around. Oh, but here he is basically an every game player. He's dh in a bunch. And he's hitting doubles like they're going out of style. Do you know where he stands on the all-time leader list? Yeah, he's eighth. He's about to pass Terry Steinbach. Where will he end up this season in doubles? <laughs> Man, look at you. Uh, I mean, he's on the cusp. You know, I think he has a chance to catch Joe Rudy. Yeah. Uh, but I don't see him catching Reggie. Uh, this I, season we're talking about. Yeah, and yeah. we don't know what the future holds. When I look at Jed Lauer and see him hit, he does it so easy. Kind of reminds me, I saw a little caption of Arnold Palmer the other day. I'm sorry, of Lee Trevino. And he was just teaching about a swing. And he hit the ball so far still and does it easy. It's like he can stop it. Chet Lowry can just stop the ball on the bat. He can just fillet stuff all over the field. It's like when you do something so well over and over and over, it just becomes so natural. As long as his body allows him to do it, it's not out of the question that he could come back next year and catch Reggie Jackson. And maybe Jason Giambi also. Here's Chad last night about doubles. I think that's something that defines me as a player. And... Um, yeah, that's. Uh, I, I, I don't. I didn't know where I stood on that list. Is that just for Oakland, or is that the entire oh, yeah. A's? Oakland, Oakland yeah. Um, yeah, I don't. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know where I. Uh, obviously, tied for eighth now. I, I wasn't aware of that. But like I said, that's. Um, I would say if there's one statistic that um, encapsulates who I am as a player, it's probably that one. Hey, uh, Terry, it's Brody. Yeah, Jed's about to pass you <laughs> in doubles. Just, just so you might want to know. Honestly, Terry, a legend, is one double away. By the way, Jed, I love the Stanford shirt. Um, it's, it's interesting, though, doubles, there's two types of doubles hitters. Jed Lowry is a stand-up doubles hitter. Like, when he gets to second, he's usually standing up. You saw Ricky Henderson leading the list there. Ricky, I feel like, was more of a head first into second doubles hitter. Well, people, I don't think, really talk enough about the kind of hitter Ricky was. I mean, he was a guy who hit homers, and he would tell you all the time, if I wanted to leave 30-something times, I'd come up out this crap, this crouch and shoot some folks up out of here. <laughs> but when I talk about <laughs> Jed Lowry, man, he is the epitome of the professional yeah. hitter, man, in the most way. And uh, it has definitely been an honor and a pleasure to watch him yeah. and the impact that he's had on this ball club. So uh, it is good to see he, he could tell he'd been here for a while. You know, he's, he's mature. You're going there? What, what were your hands doing right there? I would just say he's looking really cool. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that, given your follicle situation. If anybody can do that, you can do that.